All right. Good late afternoon. It is 5:21 right now on a Monday. It is July 26th, 2021. And it's actually been almost a week when yeah, I think a week since I've done a vlog. The last vlog I've done is 124, which was on July 19th. Today is the 26th, so about oh yeah, exactly 7 days. So, I will be doing a recap since Tuesday. Um, yeah, I know I had this thing where I was going to do it like Monday through Friday, but if you guys noticed, I did change the name on the vlog and I just made it my 50th year. Um, I was kind of getting like, God, I got to do a vlog today and it was kind of getting out of, I don't know, I just was tired of doing it every day to be honest <laughs> just kidding <laughs> but uh no i just found like i you know i was almost saying the same thing so i just kind of want to do the vlog when i feel like it and but i do write in my diary every day or my journal i should call it um that's why i can recap on all the stuff that i've done but i do have some video um i did do some stuff so when i get to it i will show that and um yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, today, it actually rained in LA. It was kind of crazy. Um, or in Long Beach. It's been hot and then it rained. So I don't know what was up with that. But this was... This is the weather. Oops. Whoa. Minus. <laughs> I didn't want that. I wanted this. And it's 72 right now. This doesn't go back. But it actually rained this morning. It was pretty crazy. It, it was kind of like um, Hawaii weather in Long Beach, it felt like. So it's pretty cool. Humid and warm. Nice. I like it that way. But Tuesday, we'll start on Tuesday. Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. Uh, let's see, this is what I wrote. Woke up at 9, which I usually do. 9 o'clock is usually my time. Or earlier. I usually wake up at 7. I've said this before. And then like sit there in bed. It's kind of funny. A little bit of music with breakfast. I've been doing that a little bit. Just doing my, um, in the morning I would play, just do my scales. Or if I feel like singing a song, I'd do that. And lately I've been drinking my uh, breakfast. It's been pretty good. Just having a juice or a smoothie. Kind of like it like that. It's really rad. Uh, then I went... Oh, appointment at DAI for a tuning pickup. Uh, I think, oh, who was with that with? I think that was with Steven. Oh yeah, that was Steven. Let's go. And he had previously got a hand pan and was looking at new hand pans and stuff like that. And that was pretty cool. Then I uh, went to, I'm all, Steven, let's go. Then I went to El Dorado for Hadley lesson but Hadley had uh, an ear infection, and so, yeah, that didn't go too well for her. <laughs> she did, she couldn't make it, and I was like, cool, we'll just, actually, we're doing it tomorrow. Hopefully, she'll feel good. And I have a cool story on this. This is pretty rad. Uh, but she had an earache, and actually, it was funny, because I brought my skateboard, and I, ro I was rolling. I got there to El Dorado early, and I just did, like, one run around El Dorado, and it just reminded me why I don't like that park. It's a cool park, but I just don't like the, I don't know, it's not as smooth. I need smooth stuff now I'm not <laughs> when I skateboard and it's just you have to get used to it. It's kind of crazy. Went to the weed store and then I didn't do a vlog, so I was kind of chilling. Wednesday, chores in the morning. I've been doing that kind of, like I've been trying to like do the litter in the vacuum because that cat layer is like every three days I'm almost due I'll probably do it tomorrow <laughs> and then usually I vacuum because we do get a lot we get cat hair not as much anymore the bunny was the worst she kept she that was a lot a lot of hair but um, I'm just trying to keep it dust free because Carrie's been like sneezing and stuff like that so we're trying to mask clean on that so I did chores in the morning and then usually I just uh, do some follow-up with DIY stuff in the morning and then I had my hand pan lesson with Maddie and um, Actually I have videos. I just did a mass dump of videos today and that was from I think I put four of them up and uh, 
Let's see. She's doing better with her scale, I wrote. That was pretty awesome. Actually, yeah, because every time I, I, I just focus on the scale because I want to see how her fingers are doing because, you know, at eight years old, the dexterity is kind of still learning. It's all good. Uh, but Maddie, you were unfocused that day, but um, they just wanted to play. It was kind of cool. <laughs> We've been having a fun time with making, they want to make videos and stuff like that. So that's always a good time. Um, but we did have a good jam. You can watch the video. It was funny because uh, we did a jam before and then uh, and we thought we were recording, but we weren't. So we went through, we went through a whole thing and we weren't recording. <laughs> It happens. Always remember. See, that was my pro tip, and I think I've said it a couple times on this vlog, but always remember to record. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but, and then we did, we did corn, Cornhole, play Cornhole with Maddie, or Hattie, and then Hide and Seek with both of the girls, and we did a couple of runs of that, and then we had Ball Tag. Actually, we did Ball Tag, and then we did Hide and Seek. They were, they had, they feel they had some good spots, so they wanted me to go find them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I have a great time with that. And then uh, Tim, uh, the jam was cool, but Tim invited, Tim Vaughn invited us to a barbecue on Thursday, which is going to be cool. And um, I got Dave, or Dave is going to come with me, and we're going to play some music and stuff, so that's going to be fun. Tim Vaughn, that's going to be cool to go hang out, and he got like a, a when he's having a barbecue with like tacos and stuff so it's gonna be cool uh but yeah we always have a good time on wednesday uh the wednesday lesson with maddie and she's getting better and better it's pretty fun when she does focus she she can play if you watch the video it's pretty funny because she does like some cool melodies without even thinking and it was pretty rad uh let's see then had oak, oak social and it was just nikki that night and i like doing it with just nikki we just had a good time because actually Nikki, I'm jumping forward to Saturday, but Nikki, uh, um, for our Saturday thing, we I had an interview. So you can watch the interview on the DII channel with Nikki, and it was awesome. She did such a great job. It was so great. But anyways, we had uh, Uke Social, and it was Nikki, uh, just Nikki on, and we jammed. We always have a good time when we're hanging out because we, we learned a lot at that time. Um, pork chops for dinner. No vlog today. That was Wednesday. Uh, then Thursday, early morning DIY yeah, point with Carrie picking up a new hand pin. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, this is with. Uh, oh yeah, this is with. Uh, um, ah, oh, my boy. How oh, I can't think of his name. Right here. Carl Anthony. God, sorry, Carl. Totally blanked on that one. But yeah, it says right here, Carl, dude. I thought, why did it say Carrie? With Carl picking up a new hand pan, and basically Carl, this is a cool story. He bought a hand pan from us, I think it was last year or something like that, but um, he works for a hospital in San Diego, and uh, he plays music for everybody at the hospital. It's cool. <laughs> hey, I just go, wow, that's pretty awesome. And, and he does a hand pan. He's been playing a lot with that. And now he wants to get another one to do that complements. He has an RS, and then uh, he thought he would get. And we had a we had a couple of different scales for him, but he chose the G minor, which sounded really nice. It was a G minor Pygmy Luna, and we played together, and it was cool. But he was like, yeah, because he's he's doing concerts now and stuff like that. That's pretty rad. And then also talked to his wife Noe, and I, she had bought a ukulele, and she seemed pretty down on. Oh yeah, I've been playing, but I haven't been getting anywhere. And I, I just shared a little bit with her and gave her some songs, and she seemed pretty happy. So, yeah, everybody gets down sometimes on music, but sometimes you just need some inspiration, right? And I think she got it. She was smiling. It was cool. But actually, Carl, ooh, that's awesome. Um, one on my bucket. One, I guess one of the places I want to go to on my bucket list would be Thailand. And they do tours in Thailand, so check them out. Carl Anthony, I'm gonna put up his card here. Wow. <laughs> and this is his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. And they do Thailand tours, it's cool. But yeah, when the time comes, he will be on my list. 
Um, came home, stomach feeling weird on Thursday. This is Thursday. Oh, so it's been a couple of days. Just need to chill. I chilled out, and then then I was better, and then uh, ended up we went to concert in the park, and this is the video. I did some video because we met Pam and Jill. His her daughter Abby Gila was there. Randy and Rich was there. Uh, let's see, Carolyn, Susan, and Greg. I'm trying to I'm trying to like practice remembering names. And who else was there? Yeah. And then also, it was pretty funny. Speaking of that, it was that day I saw um, uh, actually some guy came up to me. And he was all, he sat down and I didn't recognize him. It was so crazy. And he's all, hi. And I was like, hi. And he goes, oh, my daughter's Hadley. And I go, oh, Clay. I just go, oh my gosh. Totally sorry, Clay. I, I totally didn't recognize you. I think he, because he, he just got a new hair do and it was trippy. Um, I think he went blonde from brown to blonde or whatever. But anyways, uh, he was there and he goes, oh, Hadley's here. And I just go, oh my God. And this is a crazy story because Hadley, I've been doing, um, zoom calls with her and this is what like when the pandemic hit and then so we've just been doing zoom calls we've never done a lesson in person and i've never met her in person and this was the first time and it was awesome and i was like oh my god uh and i didn't realize that that i was supposed to meet her in person at the park on tuesday but it was funny i met her on thursday which was rad i was like oh my god and we talked to her a little bit and it was just amazing. It was cool to see people. It's weird. I keep on forgetting about that. Some people we haven't seen. And that was truly a, like, quarantine story. It was kind of cool. And she was awesome. So, um, and, But I'm seeing her tomorrow for lessons, so it's going to be cool. Uh, but anyways, speaking of videos, that's where um, I did take some videos. So I'll leave you. Uh, I'll cut to it right now. All right, today is July 22nd, 2021. Um, we're out here at Marine Stadium. Right? Marine Stadium. I'm here with Gia and what's your name? Rianne. Rianne. Oh my God, she's an aspiring filmmaker. So she's looking for jobs. So if you guys see this and you need a production assistant, whatever, she wants to do it. But anyways, we're hanging out here with all the family. Good food, music in the park. Are you guys having fun? And we're gonna start now. The music's too loud. Gila, we're gonna sign off. Say bye. Say bye, you're gonna dance. Bye, bye. bye. We're gonna turn. Ah, I can't hear her! Come on, get me! Give me a give me a give me a I don't care. It's up to you. Say my peace, darling. What you gonna do? Put it down there. Oh, baby, go. Don't make me know what I'm doing.
back and it was a great time it was cool to see everybody dancing and um just it was fun we had a good time ate some good food i actually got olives picnic style and it was just good it was good fun we forget the funness in life sometimes um let's see then let's see friday july 23rd DII meeting oh yeah we had an early morning meeting um and we had a good meeting we were just preparing for august it was great carrie and i and and dave and we came up with some good stuff we have always have a good meeting of the minds it's kind of cool we're a good team and then uh chilled out to the next appointment which i had to go back to dii to meet a hand pan appointment he made at 6 p.m this new customer his name was rick and he actually was cool uh from russia plays uh he's a videographer which i was like oh my god i do it i do the same thing so we had something cool to talk about also he's in martial arts which was really cool and um shared with them some of the hand pans he loved the aris but he rode a motorcycle and it wasn't gonna work on his <laughs> to get out so we made an appointment for the next day and that's gonna be saturday and our and saturday was busy i'll, I'll talk about it right now but uh chill out the rest of the night and oh, bro shout out to my brother chad you're awesome um he works at new balance <laughs> and oh my gosh like sometimes I because I have a bunch of shoes and I feel bad because I always get more <laughs> but they had the coolest shoes I gotta show you oh my god he hooked me up with some new shoes I've been like I've been waiting for some like all white ones that were cool and oh my god these ones are so rad but he got me some new shoes actually I got some other ones actually he got since I'm getting these, I'm gonna probably do some like reviews on these because actually Carrie's been dying for me to go on a rock. She does like running and stuff like that, but I don't like to run, but they go on trails and I like that. So I wanted a cool uh, training shoe or run or trail shoe. And I wanted one that was waterproof because they like I like to go hiking, but I want waterproof. So um, these are the New Balance. Let's see the number. 1350 1350s these are rad though they're all waterproof and good hiking too look at that tread so i'm excited i'm ready to hit the trails on this it's gonna be my my new thing that's cool and then <laughs> more shoes <laughs> these are cool slip-ons i wanted slip-ons i bet these are like actually my vacation shoes for a room and i just wanted to get some cool but Thanks, brother. I'm not trying to brag, but I will do reviews on these for sure. Um, the white ones is funny because I want to keep those white. I want to see how long I can keep those white, so I'll keep on. I just cleaned them. <laughs> I'm such a freak about shoes, but these are all white. It has like the cr these. I don't know if you can see it. It's slightly cream on the edges, and I want to see if I can keep these clean because these are. It's leather on top, so it's easy to keep clean. So I want to see how white. Look how white these things are, they're so red. But anyways, those are red. Uh, thank you, brother. I love you. Thank you for for being you. Actually, it's been cool. My brother's been hooking me up with stuff for a long time, skateboards, stuff like that, but it's fun. Um, so that was Friday. And then Saturday, um, crazy day. Actually, I was the... Oh, only guy, but Greg came and helped me. That was awesome. Um, I was the only guy that was going to be in uh, at DII, and this is what I had. 10 a.m., I, I wrote it down. 10 a.m., I had an appointment with uh, Rick to pick up his hand pan, and he was all smiles. He brought a car this time. And um, he came out with his son, and his son was cool. I forget his name. God, see, names. Totally forgot. But uh, he had a Minecraft shirt on. I did remember that, and he played Minecraft, so... Rick, happy customer. Um, he used to be a DJ too, so I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what he comes out with with his hand pan because as we were talking, um, he's like, yeah, I wanna get back into music and I wanna put like multiple instruments together. 
And it's kind of like with, I go, I told him, I go, I got a looper. And, it, you know, that's how I do it. So, like, I'm learning how to do that. Actually, I need to play some more looper stuff. So one of these days soon. But then he left. And then I have, uh, I do a live Ook social. I've been starting to do that since the COVID restrictions came back. But we've only had a few people in. And we've had, like, just Ook jams, like the Ook social at the shop, which is really cool. But anyways, uh, two more people. Veda showed up. Um, she's been a long time, but she's been asking me, when are we going to have live ukulele? So she showed up. And then Renee, I think she's been there previously, but um, it's from her first time to the Ook social, which was cool. And then Nikki and Amy, and we had a great session. It was rad. Veda and Renee ended up staying the whole time. Amy left after the, the Ook social, but... At 12, from 11 to 12, that's what happened. And at 12, had a handpan customer, and that's when Greg came in, and then he handled the handpan customer, but then I finished, ended up with Anna. Anna, um, Mike, and David, I did write down their names here. Um, but it was cool, because the sons wanted to buy, it was Anna's birthday, and they wanted to buy her a handpan. And Anna discovered um, the handpan on a journey that which she, she was on and uh, loved the vibration and wanted to get one. It was kind of crazy. No music at all. It was kind of trippy and she bought a satin and she loved it. We had a good little um, uh, session, um, shared with her a little bit and then then right at one, which we were late for, my usual live show that I do for ukulele and this time though we kind of did it like impromptu and it was cool. So I've been thinking about this, um, you know, in my ukulele journey, I liked, I, I liked hearing the stories on how people were learning and stuff like that. So I want to do more of that. And what happened was I got, I talked to Nikki and I go, Hey Nikki, you want to be my interview? I talked to her a couple days before. Actually it was that Wednesday, last Wednesday that we did our uke social. She's like, sure. And we had an interview and you can watch that. It was awesome. Nikki did such a great job. And is just inspiring because she's been a year and a half ukulele and she started learning with uh in the beginning with me and uh now she's awesome it's <laughs> so good <laughs> i think she's gonna be the next teacher ukulele teacher i told her that straight on the live show you guys can watch it, it was good um uh, but chill out the rest of the day and again no vlog actually saturday and sunday i usually don't do a vlog uh, I'm just taking a rest day, but now I'm just gonna do it whenever I feel like it and yeah We'll see and then to Sunday was Kaylee's birthday and Kaylee Yeah, she's kind of like this is her 19th birthday. I like I'm trying to remember 19 is so funny 19 like 18 19, 1920 and all the way up to 21 was just weird because you're like an adult but not really an adult because 21 is where you can drink where you feel you can be an adult and I just remember that it was so crazy so she's in that period and she didn't really want to do anything for her birthday so we didn't and I didn't see her till the afternoon just said happy birthday but then um, played music in the morning we actually went to me and Carrie went to LBX on Sunday to get blue bowls and uh before that we went to Old Navy I'm getting little or shirts, new shirts for the trip and stuff like that but um, uh, we went to Old Navy I got a couple things and then we wa went by Blue Bowl which is our favorite Acai Bowl place if you guys haven't been there it's really good and they were closed they said they weren't but it was closed so we ended up going to Target to get a couple things because Carrie wanted to get a new bathing suit and I got a couple things at the Target in Lakewood Mall and then we ended up going to Tree Nature to get a side bowls. Uh, went to the weed store, laundry, <laughs> I have her laundry. And then Kaylee came around and uh, uh, she was actually, she came over, she was hanging out uh, with her boyfriend. And then she decided she wanted to go to Urban Plates for dinner at the new Marina Pacifica, which was really cool. We took her to dinner and yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Urban Plates. We usually order from there, <laughs> from Urban Plates, but uh, we went there at 8 and it was really good. I had, what did I have? Oh, the chicken sandwich. The chicken crispy sandwich. That was really good. I would do that again. 
and uh, we had, and then I had the drink, the watermelon refresher, which was awesome. So, yeah, that was a Sunday. It's getting kind of long, huh? And then today, actually, and now it comes with today. I had a great week, and then I woke up this morning. Like actually, it was yesterday. I was kind of, uh, or actually, now that I look at it, it was been since Thursday. That's kind of crazy. And then today, like my like at yesterday was sore, and then I go ah. Uh, and then like it's my right lower abdomen it just felt like sore when i did it in certain positions like when i moved or got up and then that's just today so the to today monday i'm like oh, i don't feel good and then i was looking it up and i think i might have a hernia <laughs> so crazy uh, but i don't know yet i just called the va and my doctor's not in so there was supposed to be a nurse to call me today and it is 5:44 they haven't called me so I'll probably get a call tomorrow so I'm not in dire pain but and I, I honestly don't know I just did I went online and put down they have this like graph of abdomen pain but that's what it feels like and the symptoms are like the hernia what they what they talked about so <sighs> so we will we shall see um, uh, but I have an appointment. I guess the, they're supposed to call me. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of crazy the information that you can find out. But weird, weird, weird. So right now I'm kind of in like uh, I just feel like slight pressure, and if I move certain ways, it's not really hurting. But yeah. But that's all I have for me today. I kind of did a long one today, um, just catching up with the week. But I'll try to do like one depends on how this week goes because we're kind of on gosh I don't even know hopefully this doesn't turn out bad with because <laughs> uh, we're supposed to go on vacation August night so yes hopefully the nurses call me and say you gotta do this or you gotta do that we shall see but anyways it is uh, Monday July 26 2021 and like always Every day.